Benito, who went to the finals in UFC 5, and Oleg Tektarov, who was taken out by Dan Severn in UFC 5, and we all know that Severn went on to win the championship. David Benito representing Canada. Canadian wrestler Dave Benito was an alternate in UFC 5, but still made it to the finals. This time, he's hoping to take it all the way. Hi, I'd like to say hi to all my friends in Canada. Je veux dire bonjour à tous mes amis à Québec. I'd like to say hi to all my friends up at Simon Fraser University. Thank all my generous sponsors. And I'd like to thank Semaphore Entertainment Group for putting on the UFC to allow me to test my abilities. He is a paramedic for the city of Windsor, Ontario. President of his local union of members for the city of Windsor. He sits on its bargaining team for contract negotiations for the entire province. He's also a man who's had 17 national titles and went to four world championships. Two and one in the UFC. He was an alternate in UFC 5. He lost in the finals to Severin after beating Todd Medina in the semis. Dave Benito. Jim? Well, I'll tell you, he's a big guy. He's strong. He has a certain amount of technique. He's fighting a man that's much smaller than him. A man that has a lot of technique. It's going to be a very interesting fight. David versus Goliath. In a way, that's the truth. And of course, Benito has some punching power. He likes to get to that mounted position and rain punches down. He'll use his grappling ability to try to get to that mounted position. Tatarov, a master of submission holds. And he's not going to be wearing a gi, is what he told us. And normally he does. It's an important element in being able to uh, choke your opponent in some of the submission locks. This is a clash of styles. Definitely difference in body type. Should be a good fight. A closer look now at the man who's been training with Ken Shamrock and a guy who's coming back for his second straight UFC. Russian Sambo champion Oleg Taktarov returns to the UFC hoping to redeem himself. With seven Russian and world titles under his belt, he will be a force to contend with in the octagon. I know a lot of my friends watching me right now. I know my son gonna watch me, my son uh, Sergey. And uh, I know, I, I see no way how I can lose, I gonna win. He is the world Sambo champion. Sambo was the Soviet national martial art developed in the 30s for the military. It's a hybrid of judo and wrestling. Sambo is still compulsory for everyone in the Russian military. Oleg Taktarov, 1994 champion, Iron Gladiator tournament in Europe, four-time European Asian full contact jiu-jitsu champion. Interesting character. Didn't like the fact that the fight stopped last time. Resented it. Had a lot of blood in the eye, and he said in Russia they just keep going if that happens. You in wait Russia, until you huh? tap out. I guess so in Russia. <laughs> Well, he apologized to Ernie Verdicia after UFC 5 because he did not shake his hands. He said he was sorry. He said in Russia, we simply bow after a bow. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape for this fourth quarterfinal match between Taktarov and Benito. Taktarov is the lighter of the two, giving away about 40 pounds because Benito's gone from 258 to 250 recently while training at Simon Fraser University in Burnaby, British Columbia, which was his alma mater. You can see they're both the same age. Benito, the two-inch advantage, and this is an international fight, guys. Canada against Russia. Gorky Park. <laughs> so we're standing by. We're waiting for the ringside physician to return to the octagon. So there is a delay at the present time. Tank Abbott, Paul Varlins, Pat Smith have all advanced in the UFC. Abbott in 21 seconds. After flattening John Matua, who we understand is okay after taking that severe fall. Paul Varlins with the elbow to the head, the victory over Cal Worsham, and Pat Smith over Rudyard Moncayo. And there's David Hasselhoff. We should be having an interview with him a little bit later uh, on. He's got in a the big show. show. He's the got Baywatch a big show. Star. He's successful. You betcha. Baywatch. Fighters are now ready. We're still. Standing by for the doctor as you look at Taktarov. Jeff, call, his... let, me, let me interrupt it. Call this one for me, Jeff. Who's going to win this one? I have no idea, Jim. If I go with my heart, I go with the grappler. If I go with my senses, I think Taktarov might have a little bit too much technique. Okay. Submission holds. 
All right, right now, let's go up to ring announcer Michael Buffer. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the fourth and last of our quarterfinal matchups. Introducing first, returning to the Octagon tonight, a UFC veteran, a wrestler, fighting out of Windsor, Ontario, Canada. 28 years old, he's six feet two and weighs 258 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, David Benatar. And his opponent across the Octagon, fighting out of Lockford, California, by way of Gorky, Russia. 27 years old, six feet tall, 215 pounds. He is the 1994 Iron Gladiator Champion, the four-time European and Asian Jiu-Jitsu Champion, the Russian National Judo Champion, the World Sambo Champion, and returning UFC veteran, he's known as the Russian Bear, ladies and gentlemen, Oleg Tatar. Here we go, Taktarov against Beneteau. John McCarthy will say, let's get it on, and then it is battle. We're at the Casper Event Center, Casper, Wyoming, underway. Beneteau goes right for Taktarov's legs and tries to bring him down, and he does. And Taktarov right into the guard. And this is what Taktarov thrives on. But I think Beneteau remembers what Severin did, getting his head up against the fence. This is where Oleg is supposedly weak, is in against the fence. He's gotten back to his feet now. Let's see what Beneteau can do to try to get him back under. Last time, Tatarov had a right knee injury. He said he'll be much tougher as Beneteau solidly punches away at Tatarov. Tatarov shoots a leg. Oh, what a spinning move! And back they are in that same position, Jeff. And Beneteau is cut. Beneteau is cut. Must have gotten hit. Oh, and he's being choked out. Beneteau taps out. That's technique. where that technique. Technique. Technique always comes through. Beautiful move by Tuktar. That's that quality you were talking about. Yes. Yes. Over side. A bloody Beneteau. <laughs> And Leon Tabs quickly comes in to take care of him. Taktarov congratulates Beneteau. Great deal of respect there among, between those two fighters, Jim. A lot of respect here tonight. 